Hello, everybody, and we are here with some event recaps and update on the National Tabletop League powered by the Army Painter. You get to deal with me, Brad, today. Uh, we're going to go over two tournaments that have happened in the this past month, kind of back-to-back weekends, so we're putting them all into, into one update here. So the first one that we're going to go over is Can Hammer. Uh, so let's take a look at kind of what went down at Can Hammer uh, up in Canada. So this is the the standings for it. Uh, we got Blunt Force Trauma. They've been just dominating the Canada scene. They won the first event and they qualified for uh, the finals. They are going to take this second event that's happening up in Canada again. Full sweep. They are 10 and 0. They're the only team in the league right now that is 10 and 0. So uh, huge shout outs to uh, those guys over there. They're just absolutely killing it. But because they qualified already from the blast event, Red Dragons, who came in second here, they will get the qualifying spot from this event. So it just goes from one team to another if there's multiple teams uh, to to qualify for the finals. Um, it, that is just a qualification spot. They're not free tickets or anything like what GW does for Worlds. Uh, we're not that special here. Uh, we're just trying to fill out uh, the finals bracket and everything with, with invite spots. Um, so you've got two teams that have qualified in Canada now. You've got Blunt Force Trauma and Red Dragon. So congratulations to you all. Then uh, as we look at kind of the other standings of how this event went, uh, you got Stud for Scrubs, Equip A Quebec, GTA 40K, Big Dice Energy, Halt and Heretics, Team Chimera, Mid Table Terrors, Bloodbath and Beyond, War Game Warriors Green, Imperialis Armored Corp. We saw them in the, the, the last event as well, BBB. GTA 40K, Second Chapter, Team Hambone, Maple Leaf, Adeptus, in San, in I can't say that word. I can't say I'm not going to try. Bottom Table Titans, Dirty Mark and the Boys, War Game Warriors, Black, Cruising for a Bruising, and the B-plus players. So 22-player event. Uh, I heard that this event sold out in like 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, so, you know, Canada, they've got it on lock. They're doing absolutely great. I'm not going to go too much in detail of like every single match and every team and stuff. If you want to check that out, go to BCP. Um, you can see the title up here. You can look for the event and you could kind of dive deeper into um, every single team and what they were what they were doing. Um, one thing that I will go into real quick, though, is let's go ahead and look at Blunt Force Trauma and let's just look at what they brought to the table so that we can kind of just see kind of what their uh their meta picks were for this event at this time so they've got necrons death guard gray knights raven wing custodies astro militarum sisters and eldar um so this raven wing you'll see it's a double flyer list um it's super strong uh we will we see that as well in the in the next tournament we'll talk about uh gray knights i'm not sure if their gray knights list has canis or not so no this is a this is more of a terminator spam so it's not the all dread knight canis a little bit more like of a well-rounded gray knights um build their necrons is da, 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 canoptic court pretty standard canoptic court that you got here uh they went with the satan build instead of the immortal build um i think the immortal build is actually stronger now with the points changes and the satans are probably going to go away the immortal build is 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 really good still um the death guard i'm just gonna say hopefully there's not a mortarian because when i see mortarian on death guard i'm just like man not not a good death guard though so two ten mans two five mans rhinos predators love predators blow drones crawlers pretty well-rounded death guard list death guard is still very very strong um custodes guard a lot of indirect or no indirect no indirect is there gonna be no indirect? No, there is. Basilisk, three Casterton, three Manticore. All right, standard, standard list. Um, I love guard. I love going into guard. Um, I have no respect for guard when I play, but guard is still very good. I think they do have some problematic matches in team pairings, so you got to kind of be a little touch and go with it. Um, sisters, and uh, I want to see what their Eldar is because Eldar lists vary a little bit. So they've got Kane, two Fire Dragons. One fire dragon, shadow specters, hawks, 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 spider, spiders, 3D cannons, and a night spinner. Ooh, they're bringing that out. It's probably so that they play a little bit better into custodes um, or even like slowing down like wraith units a little bit. Um, 
interesting choice. So that's kind of what they brought, and they swept the field again. They are 10 and 0, won both events, just absolutely wrecking up there in Canada. So huge shout outs and congrats there. An awesome event from the Canhammer guys. Then the weekend after that, we come down to the US, uh, right in New York. So pretty similar to not far from where this event was. This event, I believe, was in Ottawa, and uh, BFS. Uh, is where we're going to jump to now. So BFS happened up in New York. Um, this is like in the White Plains area. It's just north of uh, New York City by maybe like, I don't know, like 30, 40 minutes. Um, so at this event, Art of War took it home. We all tried to take him down. We actually didn't get to play him as Pro Tabletop. Um, if you don't know, I play on the Pro Tabletop uh, team. Um, but yeah, Art of War came out on top. This event was kind of gnarly. It was it was crazy. So the, uh, we'll kind of go over the teams. We got Art of War, Chimera, uh, Pro Tabletop, Tundra Tactics, Brooklyn Boys, Dumpster Fire, Quality Control. Uh, if you don't know who Quality Control is, they uh, old old team coming back, which is which is great to see them come back. Um, AP Zero Tactics, Orange, Plastic Crack, Anonymous, Carcosa, BFS Judgment Day, Cabold. Hammer Park Boys, Dirty Drew and the Boys, Rochester Wargaming Club. They won the Best Spirit Award at this event. Obliterati, Stat Check, and AP Zero Tactics Gray. So this event, I, I have I, I was at this event, so I got a little bit more details on it that I could talk about. Um, we played BFS Chimera round one, and they beat us 90-70. Uh, it was a very, very hard round, and uh, most of these games are on uh, Wargames Live, so if you want to check any of them out, War Games Live was here streaming this. I believe they're actually streaming Can Hammer as well. So both tournaments uh, were are up on Joe's channel over there on YouTube. Um, BFS Chimera, they just came out swinging. We underestimated their swarm list. Uh, we mispaired that, and we mispaired the Eldar and uh, Sisters game. Their Sisters player just ran all over Jaime. So those two games, we just mispaired them really, really bad and poorly. Um, didn't go our way. So we fell to the loser's bracket real hard, and we had a couple uh, games that we just kind of ran over the other team, which I'm sorry for those other teams. Hopefully we we taught them a lot. Uh, we tried to we try to you know teach a lot when we when we do games like that. And it was really fun rounds though, really good learnings. Then we went into play Tundra, and we got the draw on Tundra. Uh, we had some pretty good pairings there and everything. Um, our org player Johnny, it was his first event with us. He kind of came out swinging that match and it was really really good for him and then um yeah then we pulled the last game against Pla plastic crack anonymous um out as well and it put us up into third which was really cool so we didn't have to play art of war uh bfs kind uh so then art of war and tundra they drew each other on round two and they got the draw there uh then they all played each other basically so chimera played art of war and they drew and art of war and then chimera played tundra and they drew so between the top four everybody drew except for us we took the loss against chimera uh so you know we're the only red up there in the top four wah, wah, wah. but uh just really really good games across the board like everybody was so evenly matched and evenly paired and you kind of see that as you go in like chunks of like four or six teams that those next four teams are all very close to each other and they had similar experiences in games and it kind of goes like that so um, it was a really, really good event, really hard event, um, on art of war for this event. You can kind of just, so everyone can kind of see who are on these top, um, placing teams. So art of war, they had McDougal on GSC, Jack Harpster on custodes, uh, John Lennon on Tyranids, Casra on ultramarines. He was playing, um, Vanguard, Matt Robertson on world leaders. Nick on Sisters, Quinton on Death Guard, and Richard on Neck Runs. Um, then over on Tundra, we'll go down to, I guess, uh, BFS Chimera. We'll go to them first. Don't mind my scrolling. Uh, so on Chimera, they, 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 they came out swinging. So we had uh, last year, we won this event last year. Um, and so our hardest match, arguably, was against BFS Chimera. So we got the rematch uh of like the finals last year uh the first game this year and they they beat us this time so uh, it was well deserved and they absolutely deserved it uh F alex fennel is on his team benjamin benjamin uh rubenstein daniel i'm not gonna try to say your last name because i will butcher it 
Kevin, Mike DeAngelis, Samuel Pope, TJ Lanigan, and Tony Phillips. So we underestimated Pope's uh, swarm list, and uh, it got us good. Um, Daniel's a great player. He usually plays Eldar. He switched over to Sisters, similar path that I've been doing, um, and he absolutely just demolished time A uh, with his Sisters list, which was great. Um, I had an amazing game with Mike. Um, huge shout out to this team. They, they really showed up and they did a great job. And then when we go down to um, uh, Tundra, so everyone kind of knows who's playing on Tundra when it, they go from fives to eights. So they got their core five man there still, which is Ganyo, Townsend, Cameron, Eric, uh, and Oliver. And then going to the eight, they picked up Kit Smith, uh, Matt Shishman, and Sean Naden. Uh, so Naden was playing T-Suns. Um, he had a pretty funny game against John on the stream. He basically stood there for 30 minutes on his clock and uh, he's like, okay, I know what I'm going to do. And then John's like, okay, you're, you're done with your command phase. And he said, yeah. And he goes shadows. So then he shadowed him and then he had to redo like all of his cabal points and his thoughts and everything. And he ended up clocking out. So, you know, John got that 19 one. Uh, so that was an unfortunate circumstance, but Sean being a sportsman, he is, he's like, I'm not playing on your clock. This is my fault. I shouldn't have let it happen. Um, and, you know, really, really good sportsmanship across the teams there. Um, Kit had a Dark Angels list, which was the Flyers again, like you saw what Jeremy had over at the Canhammer event. Really hard list to pair into. Um, he was just smoking everybody. Uh, he got best Imperial at this event as well. So he was really, really good. Um, but yeah, overall, amazing teams and everything uh, and amazing events. Then when we look kind of forward, uh, we've got our standings updated on the website. So if you go to the national tabletop league.com, you can go to the standings and this is the ELO. So how this works, if you're not familiar with it, every single match, we are calculating the ELO of the team. So you start off at a 1500 ELO and every game you win or every game you lose, you will go up or down ELO based on the other team's ELO that you are playing. Um, so blunt force trauma, they are 10 and O they are just going up, 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 up. Uh, their ELO is climbing. Um, I believe, so we have, uh, one loss and two draws on our, our team. And so we're sitting there in the second place. We've gone to two events. Blunt force trauma has also gone to two events. Um, studs for scrubs has gone to two in Canada. BFS chimera has only gone to one event, right? One event. Uh, they came out, they beat us. We were at like 1700 ELO going into the event and we took a 60 ELO drop because we lost to them. So um, that was a really big swing for them and for us. So it's really cool to see kind of how the ELO system uh, is working out. And that was a great example. Like we went to the first event, we had 1700 ELO. We lost to a 1500 ELO team because it was their first event. They went up 60, we went down 60. Um, and so a little bit more of a punch up and down there because of how it was. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of teams on here. I think we're at 69 total teams. So if you've played in one of the events, uh, you can, you can go to the standings page and you can see what your current ELO is, but we do track all of this. Now, as we look forward a little bit to the next event, um, I'm like super zoomed in on this here. Hang on one second. Let me, uh, let me refresh this page. So when we look forward, um, and we look at our next events that are going to be happening, uh, let me go back to this now. Okay. So the next events that are coming up. So this is kind of where, where we're at in the schedule right now. We we've done eight TC we've done BFS. We've done can hammer. So the next one is happening June 21st to 23rd. Um, I'm pretty sure this is very, very close to being sold out, sold out. Um, breath weapon gaming. This is happening in Canada. It's really cool having like Canada event, a USA event, a Canada event, a USA event. It's really cool. To see how the metas are changing with each other and how people are doing. And then hopefully, obviously in the finals, we get all, all these, these teams together, um, to play in one. And then as those standings are happening, if you're not winning an event, and you are at the top of those standings, people will get invited to the finals from the standings. So it's definitely worth going to as many events and getting your ELO as high as you can, even if you can't qualify from one of the events. Then in July, we've got the NATC. Uh, so this is an eight man and a five man. I'm, I'm told that tickets are almost sold out for both of them. Uh, so uh, the team count is actually wrong on this. There's gonna be 16 eight man teams. And then I think there's like, 
64 ish, maybe five man teams. So it's a lot, a lot of teams here. Um, very, very big team event. So if you want to play fives or you want to play eights, you can. The eights are obviously part of the league. The fives are are doing their own thing that they're doing for the finals there. Then into August, we've got the Gateway Open. So anybody that's in the Midwest or out west a little bit and you want to go to St. Louis area, um, Doug's putting on a great event up there for the Gateway Open. Um, and then all the other tickets are not fully on sale yet. This September event is going to end up moving. We've got a big announcement about that coming up on Friday. So if you're looking for an October or September event that's in the south east area uh we'll be announcing that very very soon um i don't know why i said friday soon not this friday it'll have it'll come soon though um stud and snotlings you got a september event there up in up in canada and then november down in florida december out in colorado and then we'll kind of go to the 2025 when we get closer to that so we've got a lot of events coming up um so if you haven't bought your tickets and you're looking for events it's all on our website. All the information is there. Um, look for this Friday. We've got a really, really cool announcement with a really big esports partner that we're doing. Um, so we've got a really cool announcement coming up on Friday. But that's the update for these events. Hope you all are getting out to these team events. And if you haven't had a chance yet, please attend one. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>